Thank you for checking out this shirt. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Peace. I'm glad to be here with all of y'all, man. We got a serious topic today I want to talk about. I want to talk about um, police brutality. And so um, I really want to start off on um, on this topic with first just kind of I want to recognize a few people, right? Uh, because there are a few people out here uh, today who are um, who, whose names I want to recognize as individuals impacted um, by this police brutality. And so, you know, I guess one of the questions that I would have is, is um, it, it's obviously been ongoing for a long time, right? Since John Lewis crossing the Edmund Pettus Bridge uh, to even today. And so, and it can go back even further, right? Um, and so I wanted to really just kind of shout out to you all, just some names that I that I came across um, and, and uh, their ages, where where these things occurred and the reason. So in 2014, uh, we had R. Rosa, R. Rosser, her name, age 40, Ann Arbor, Michigan. It was a domestic dispute. She was shot. Her, uh, I think her boyfriend at the time might have called the police and wanted to get her out of the house. She ended up getting shot. Eric Garner, you all, I'm sure, have heard, for age 43, Staten Island. He was selling uh, Lucy's, loose cigarettes, and uh, he was he was killed through a chokehold. Um, Akai Gurley, age 28, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, he was coming down a staircase in, in his home. I think he lived in a project area, and a cop was coming up the steps and shot, uh, had shot up in the stairwell, and a bullet hit the wall and killed him. Uh, Gabriella Navarez, age 22, Sacramento, California, was driving. A, she drove into some patrol cars. I think she had got stopped and then tried to drive off, drove into patrol cars, and they shot her, killed her. Tamir Rice, age 12, Cleveland, Ohio, playing with a toy gun, got shot by the police in the playground. Michael Brown, age 18, Ferguson, Missouri, walking with a friend, got shot by police. Uh, Tanisha Anderson, age 37, Cleveland, Ohio, mental health case. She ended up dying. That was 2014. 2015, Michelle Casso, age 50, Phoenix, Arizona, at home. She was a mental health case as well, was shot. Freddie Gray, age 25, Baltimore, Maryland. Police, he was in the police van. They had uh, cuffed him up, and uh, they basically didn't put a seatbelt on him. When he got out of the back of the police van, he had spinal cord his spinal cord was severed. He died. Uh, Janisha Fonville, age 50, Charlotte, North Carolina, at home, mental case. She was shot. Uh, 2016, Philando Castile, age 32, Falcon Heights, Minnesota, traffic stop. He, he, he informed the officer, hey, listen, I have a legal firearm. And the officer got nervous and shot him. Um, Alton Sterling, age 37, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, was selling DVDs, shot six plus times by the police. 2018, Stefan Clark, age 22, Sacramento, California. He was shot in his grandma's backyard 20 plus times. Uh, Botham John, age 26, Dallas, Texas, at home, shot by Amber Geiger. Y'all know that she claimed she walked into the wrong apartment and then thought she had an intruder and shot him. Um, she's serving 10 years, is my understanding. Um, Atanya, At, 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 Atiana. Thank you, man. Atiana Jefferson, age 28, Miami, Florida. Uh, in her own home, she was shot through the window. A neighbor called and said they thought that someone was in the house. And uh, a police officer looked through and shot her through the window. Um, that was in 2019. And then 2020, we had Ray Shard Brooks, age 27, Atlanta, Georgia. He was sleeping in his car. Uh, the cops had pulled him over. He was, uh, they say he was drinking. I think he was in a restaurant uh, drive through and he <clears throat> ran and they shot him in the back. Uh, Daniel Prude, age 41, Rochester, New York, Minneapolis, uh, excuse me, Rochester, New York, mental health case. He died of as asphyxia. Um, Brianna Teller, age 26, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we all know the police went to the wrong house and uh, knocked. I don't, I don't know if they knocked. It didn't knock. I understand it. I thought it was a no-knock warrant, but she was shot and killed. Uh, and then, uh, of course, George Floyd, 80, age 46, Minneapolis, Minnesota. They said he was trying to pass $20 counterfeit bill, and we all know how that went. He, uh, he died from a knee to the neck. And so um, that's a lot of names, fellas. And I just want to, you know, I want to just for a moment, just kind of be quiet here and, and just ask you to think of like, 
just think about what are your thoughts on just what you heard from me right now? Yeah, it's, you know, dude, that could be either one, any one of us, straight up. 